Out of nowhere, I hear boo, 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 boo. Sound like LAPD at the front door. He jumps up and looks at me like I was suspecting company. Like, nah, girl, this your house. Who the hell is that? And I wasn't really scared until she got up and she went to the door and she looked through the window thing on the right side. And when she turned around, the face she had looking at me looked like pure fear. Like, like we, like she shouldn't have been there either. I'm like, whoa, like what's going on? She's like, you need to get up, get your stuff. You need to go to the pantry right now. I'm like, the pantry. She's like, get up, get your stuff, and go hide in the pantry. So I, I wasn't gonna let her say it three times. So I got up. Okay, so for you guys that love chasing those baby mamas, here's a little story for you. Maybe it'll change your mind about chasing the baby mamas. The baby daddies aren't too far behind. Check this out. So I go meet this girl at her place, right? And we were going to go out, but she said we need to wait on her babysitter to show up so someone can watch her five-year-old daughter, right? When I first get to the neighborhood, I realize it's a gated community in North Dallas. So I'm like, oh, okay. So I had to text her to get the code and everything. So I'm like, damn, seems like a nice area. Surely nothing goes on wild here, right? So as I'm pulling up to her house, I notice that her front lawn is cut diagonal. You know what I mean? It's not cut in a straight line. So I'm like, oh, okay. It's cut like a golf course. This is... This is nice, real nice, you know what I mean? So I pull right into the driveway and I park right there. But that right there is already breaking rule number 34-1 in the Baby Mama Shuffle Safety Handbook. You never park right in the driveway. You're gonna find out why in just a second. Before I get out the car, I grab my tool bag and I grab my hard hat, but I'm not there to fix anything. Once you get to a level I am of doing the baby mama shuffle, you realize that a lot of these girls, they don't like their kids to see that they're casually dating. You know what I mean? So it helps them if you show up as like a, as a handyman, show up as a, a direct TV guy or dish. Me, I got all the polos. I got the best, I got the hard hats, I got it all. Because I've learned over time, if you cater to these women, it helps your situation in the end. This, this guy's heavily, heavily, heavily oh, in with the baby moms. This is what I do. Hell, I'll even show up as an astronaut if she needs him to. You know what I mean? Just, just put it in the appointment notes. So I'm sitting on the couch just chilling, right? I'm eating one of her kids' fruit snacks. She has a PS5 on, the, like, on this big-ass flat screen. So I'm like, oh, hell yeah. And the sitter should be there any minute. Everything's going great, right? Then, out of nowhere, I hear boo, 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 boo. Sound like hey, LAPD at the front door. He jumps up and looks at me like I was suspecting company. Like, nah, girl, this your house. Who the hell is that? And I wasn't really scared until she got up and she went to the door and she looked through the window thing on the right side. And when she turned around, the face she had looking at me looked like pure fear. Like, like we, like she shouldn't have been there either. I'm like, whoa, like what's going on? She's like, you need to get up, get your stuff. You need to go to the pantry right now. I'm like, the pantry? She's like, get up, get your stuff and go hide in the pantry. So I, I wasn't going to let her say it three times. So Ooh. I got up, I got all my, my stuff and I go hide in the kitchen pantry. And I was sitting there next to a box of Ritz. I, I, I remember specifically. So while I was sitting in that pantry, I, I didn't know what was going on, right? But later I found out, you know, like just to add information in right now, that her babysitter had to cancel. But she called her ex-husband instead, instead of calling her, because she had like no clue that they were even going through a split, right? So he showed up to pick up the kids, but he saw my car in the driveway. You know what I mean? That's why there's rules to this. You always park across the street. You park down the road. You never park in the driveway. That's how you get yourself hurt. So I'm sitting in this pantry. I'm hugging my little tool bag and my hard hat. And I'm like trying like to breathe like real quiet. And then I overhear like them yelling, like blah, blah. Like, it's, it's like real muffled. But then I hear like a slap, like a loud, and then she goes, and you still hit like a b and I'm like, oh, oh, they squabbing, they squabbing. So I'm like, okay, do I, do I get out the pantry and go like do something? Or do I sit here and, you know, let this family matter go on? You know what I mean? And then I start. No, stay your ass in that. Matter of fact, uh, look for a window because it uh, sounds like she got a Debo up in the damn house. I say rhyme, my man. I started hearing glass breaking and all kinds of stuff. So I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna sit in here while there's like full-fledged domestic violence going on. So I get up, I walk around like little, the little kitchen short hallway thing. And then when I see him, my whole mind kind of changed and I wish I was still in that pantry. Cause he was this big buff, no neck, Vin Diesel, cornbread and hot sauce and beans for breakfast looking motherfucker. And I didn't really know what to do. So I was like, hey, yo, 
And then as soon as he heard me, he turned and looked at me. And he started walking my way and he was like cussing and everything already. And then she saw that he was coming towards me. So she like ran and kind of like intercepted, you know, his path. I guess she was trying to save my life, right? Now, flashback, this the first time he went to see this woman. Now, why he jump out that cabinet want to be Captain Saberho, I have no freaking idea. But I say before, get your ass up out of there. Stop trying to be a hero because heroes end up with. That's all I can say. But as soon as like she got in front of me, he picked her up like a toddler, like underneath the armpits. He picked her up and chunked her. I'm talking like almost 10 feet into the couch and the couch like flipped over. So I'm like, okay. And then when my, my adrenaline is pumping and I'm mad, I start to sound like my mom for no reason. So I was like, hey, so uh, what, you, what you're not gonna do is just throw people. And But before I can get the word around, before I can get the word around out of my mouth, I'm up off the ground, you know what I mean? And he throws me and I remember I did one half spin and i saw like the kitchen and then i was on the diamond table like, and then i hit the this little dog cage and then i hit the the tile floor and i thought i was dead and i kind of laid there and I, i'm not gonna lie i knew i wasn't dead but i played dead because i didn't want no more of what that got going on that was a family matter i shouldn't even say anything oh. and part of me was trying to make myself feel better for laying there acting dead you know what i mean because i was like you know what he threw her into a couch you know what I mean? He threw me into a dining room table. So he still loves her. You know what I'm saying? She got thrown into a couch. So let me just, you know, lay here. And Because he didn't ask me who I was. He didn't say, what are you doing here? He immediately picked me up and threw me. He didn't want to have no conversations with me. So I'm just going to lay there and chill out. So eventually she started yelling, I called the cops. The cops are on the way. And then the cops did show up, but he was already gone by then. So when the cops showed up, of course, they asked me questions. They asked her questions. I told the cops I got a few punches in, which was a bold face lie. I did not get one punch in. Okay, so uh, there you have it. Stay y'all asses out those baby mama houses. Because most likely, especially if they have small kids, uh, the baby daddy is still around somewhere. Don't, don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. You'll, you'll end up like direct TV guy getting your ass tossed through furniture. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Well, hope you enjoyed it, guys. That's your boy. I'm up out of here. Peace. Woo. All right, all right, all right, all right.